Hello everybody, I'm Slash and VC. This is Cataclysm. Let's rejoin the adventures of Mark Crump. I wasn't actually ready to start recording. I was uh, just kind of setting up the episode and then of course something happened. Again, you hear bang. Noah Beal starts uh, shooting something. In other words, our boy Marcus Crump has run into another NPC. This time, thank God, we've got our um, food person mask on so we can talk. Double checking that we don't have our uh, shooter's earplugs in such that we can't hear anything. Let's look here. I don't think I've got them in. I think I dropped them somewhere. Yeah. No, we're good. We're not deaf this time. And I don't have my weapon out. So, we're going to try to recruit this guy. Let me uh, clear that. Can I chat with him from here? Not yet. So you might ask yourself, what's Mark doing over here? He reloaded his MP40. Wow. I mean, we don't want to tick this guy off, right? All I was doing was, I just uh, kind of looking at where we can go north. I'm trying to plot our escape. Can we drive up here and then drive out of the city? I was just going to check the street, see if it was clear, and we bumped into an NPC. Uh, we are hallucinating, however. Um, I have nothing to consume. Oh, I dropped my antipsychotics. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. He is also, it appears, headed north. Can I see him from here? Not yet. Yeah, look, he's going north at high speeds. All these NPCs are headed north up this road to this motel. I really want to find out what's going on up there. I'm going to break into a run. Maybe we can catch... Wait a minute. We've got a zombie in the way. And Noah is ignoring me. Um... Great. He just fired his gun up here. So there's zombies accruing. Maybe we shouldn't run. I'm gonna have to take out this zombie. Let's wield our bow. Yeah, thanks Noah. Thanks for shooting your gun next to my base where all these zombies can uh, you hear a thump, you hear a thump. Here he comes. Oh wow, this zombie's slow. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh! What is this? A fry. A half-translucent fish. I think that's a hallucination. And they're leaving guns all over the street. Look at this. Single barrel shotgun. Winchester 410. One of these NPCs that came through here left that stuff behind. I think they also dropped that. Maybe that was me. Alright, this NPC is moving away from me about as fast as I'm moving. Ah, uh, he's going to get... Um, he's going to get hung up on this zombie, maybe. Yeah, it looks like he's come to a stop where this zombie is up here and talk to the guy by the way so far this street's pretty clear all right so I don't know he's uh, looks like he's just running for it nice heavy-duty utility vehicle up there too we should check out I guess uh, mr. fry excuse me mr. fry Are you really gonna run right past Yep. Okay, it's a regular zombie. We'll just wield our bow again. Draw from spear strap. Yes. Huh? Holster spear. Draw bow. There we go. I've got to say that uh, even though our dexterity has dropped, 
Well, it dropped to nine, which is its normal right now. It's down to six because we're hallucinating. I believe it's because we're hallucinating, yes. Uh, no longer being under the influence of warped time, I think it's helping. I got used to all the zombies just being super fast. I'm going to unwheel the bow again. Am I hallucinating a new thing here? Yeah, probably. A brown chick. Okay. And... A deranged axe man disappears. I don't recall looking at this vehicle. What do we got here? Oh, a diesel vehicle. Looks like it's got three full tanks and an up battery, but no wheels. Oh, we throw some wheels on this thing. That wheel is destroyed. That wheel is destroyed. Okay. Destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. <laughs> I just need six wheels and we could get this thing on the road. Um, Mr. Beal, is it? Oh, by the way, so I'm just noting, this is an intersection, at this intersection here, let's look what intersection I'm at. Okay, here's home. First intersection is clear. This intersection has a vehicle in the way. <clears throat> Gotten the attention of one zombie. But it should be no problem to drive around that obstruction in this intersection, and then we'll be... Home free. I'm just trying to watch my mini-map over here. It looks like uh, Noah is about to run into an intersection kind of full of zombies, plus we've got one coming from our right here. This one is a zombie soldier. Yay. And he's slower than I am, so we'll probably just batter him completely. Still can't uh, get Noah's attention. Here, let's look up here and see what he's about to run into. Ah, now this intersection is a little bit clogged, but it looks like we can fit our car right between and move right on. Where's our boy Noah at? Be all the way past that intersection already? Oh, there he is. He's just making a beeline for it. <clears throat> well, we're probably going to have to deal with this zombie soldier, so... Get the bow back out. You hear bang bang. Boy up there in the intersection is in combat. Oh. Oh. Hey, our zombie soldier had a grenade on him. Guess we'll take the grenade. So these ESAPI and ESBI ballistic plates are uncompromised. Might as well grab those. And one of my viewers has uh, recommended that we start using the, like, the mall assault pack, all webbing belt and stuff like that. So maybe we'll just grab that stuff and go wash it and try it out because let's see how bad it is. It's just ripped. Not great. I don't know what's worse, ripped or torn. He pads. Ballistic vest is what contains all these things. So we can just take that vest. It'd give us all these, right? Or not? Yeah, it will. And um, I guess we'll take the... Uh, 
Guess we'll take the assault pack and the webbing belt. We'll go wash that stuff. Don't really need the MREs and such, but uh, hey, I didn't grab the grenade. What's up with that? Not grab the grenade, or is it? It must be contained in something already. Like the. I don't know. It's highlighted in yellow for some reason. I want the hydration pack too. Some items were not picked up. Hmm. Got the grenade. Uh, um, apparently I couldn't fit... Ah, couldn't fit the ballistic vest. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, we'll come back for it. It's my encumbrance at now? 23. That's amazing, I'm not carrying that much, but the... Assault pack. What is that? Some kind of backpack? Yeah. Oh, it's got a volume of 13 and a weight of 13. Modular, lightweight, load carrying equipment. Advanced military backpack. Yeah. Okay, we might switch to that. Let's drop it for now, though. Drop the. Alright, do I still have the grenade? <laughs> Not that I need such a thing, probably. Alright, so there you go. There's my assault pack. We'll come pick up in a second. Uh, well, I've got the attention of four zombies now, and a zombie dog. Oh, that happened quick. And our guy is making his escape. You know what, though, I'm seeing? We're going to be able to drive out of here pretty easy, I think. Now, here's something that I've been learning by playing kind of off-camera with uh, another character. And that is the value of a car in combat. Here we go. I don't know if I mentioned this in a video already, but man, I'm going to tell you what. Can I open this? Do I need to open this door? Is it open? I can't tell. Okay, that, now it's open. When these zombies have to go over a car, it takes them forever. The, um, the move cost is, what is it, 400 or more? It's more than... that. Uh, that's 400. This is impassable. Uh, is this impassable? That's impassable. That dog's going to have to come all the way through this car to get to me. And the really high move cost really works in my favor. Uh, what's that? A vicious vicuna? A yama that oozes dark oil? I think that's a hallucination? Yes. Blood drips from my head. How is my head? I took a little damage. But yeah, I mean, I have really struggled to um, battle my way through this city. Let's stop the bleeding if we can. Oh. But all along, I could have been using these vehicles as just excellent barricades for fighting on the city streets. And I just didn't know that. But now I do. Uh-oh, here comes another one. What do we got coming over here? Oh, another dog. Excellent. Okay, saved by the mini-map. A what? A zombie hunter. Oh, this could be bad. He hasn't seen me yet. Boxer puppy is an adorable, defenseless puppy. Much safer to tame than an adult dog. Okay, so the zombie hunter has probably injured himself on some of this debris here. We may shoot him. 
looking at what we might have over there in the uh, junk pile. The BMG casing. Alright. Um, hmm. far away is this zombie hunter? Uh, he's not that far away. I'm guessing he's going to be moving in this direction toward the sounds of combat and so on. I haven't fought one of these before. Um, it says that you're barely able to believe this thing was ever human. It scrambles about on all fours. Its nails and teeth sharpened into dangerous looking spikes. Now, according to the tooltip, it says it is mildly dangerous much faster than I am and moderately injured. Now, according to the tooltip, it's mildly dangerous. Uh, that tells me I can fight him across this car. I'm going to stand here for a minute and see if anybody comes around. Okay. He's not coming this way, I don't think. That or he's hung up on the fence. Alright, I'm going to proceed north here. Alright, we got somebody's attention. Who do we got? The regular Zombo. I think we've lost our NPC, though. So, that means we can just go back to my original purpose. Is to get in a car and drive this direction. It won't hurt to, um, clear it out a little bit, I guess. I'll lure them down to this car, or go up to that car. One or the other. Hmm, looks like i got about three of them to look at here. Five zombies. You hear another bang. Yeah, see, now we're getting into it again. Alright, let's back up. Seven zombies seen now. Let's pull him back to this broken vehicle. We're hallucinating a cat. Yep. Alright, come on down, fella. Yeah. Zombie Hunter made his appearance? No, he's still just hanging out over there. Need to catch my breath, though. Okay, excellent. Did I thank the NPC for the work that he's done? Whoa, look at that giant fungal blossom. That's not real. <laughs> All right, we got us another. This must be our swimmer zombie here. Oh, there he is, wearing or there she is, wearing, obviously wearing a swimsuit. Look at that. <laughs> A zombie clad in swimwear. Sure enough. Oh boy. They dropped all kinds of candy and pretzels. Okay. Well, I wasn't really planning on trying to advance oh by the way what do we have here cemetery hardware store i think i've been in actually i don't know if i've been this far north i'm up uh, on the same block as the collapse tower got houses i thought there was a library around here somewhere i think there is i don't remember exactly where it's at oh right here i might as well stop by the library while we're in the area let's go down here and have a look what the heck? Oh, it's just a tree.
I think I've been in... Oh, this library... This is the library that's totally trashed. Pieces of books and ruined books. Yeah. But we've got the Fletcher's Friend and Studies in Historic Armor Smithing. Ooh. Wait a minute. Solar Punk and Eco Speculation. Samurai Novel. I think these are all pleasure books. Cow, look at all the books that were in that one location. Here, oh, those are right there, and the Fletcher's Friend is two doors down. Okay. Let's grab Studies in Historic Armor Smithing. And the Fletcher's Friend. Oh, there's more good things, yeah. Internal Combustion Fundamentals, Popular Mechanics and Mechanical Mastery. Alright, I want to thank the um, commenter who suggested that I find a library or bookstore, because I was thinking there's no way I'm going to get high enough mechanics, even if I get high enough electronics. I'll never get high enough mechanics without a book, and yet here it is. Web Design and Pro... I've got... Pro oh, excuse me. Got Pro Hacker Secrets. I don't have web design basics. That's probably a survival book. And then most of the other plans for a radio repeater mod. How to create a mod for a radio station terminal which converts the entire system into a repeater. Bam! That's interesting. Because that's exactly what I was thinking. I love that about this game. I was thinking, why can't we use the radio towers, you know? I don't need Pro ha Hacker Secrets. I'll take one copy. One copy of that. And we'll take Autobiography of a Mountain Man. Well, these are terminals. I think I did step in here real briefly and said, wow, there's nothing here. I didn't use uh, view mode. Internal combustion fundamentals. Mechanical mastery and popular mechanics. This thing, right? Let's see. Electronic circuit theory. Plans for a radio repeater mod. Very interesting. Hundred and one important integrated circuits. Welding and metallurgy. Alright, I gotta take these books home. If I can scan them into my e ink PC. Yeah, let's go do that real quick and I'll see if I can grab the assault pack while I'm at it and wash it up. don't see any zombies immediately. This time, if I get in combat, I'll probably... Eh, torso encumbrance is about what it was before, so... Hazmat zombie. Oh, wow. I did not even see that zombie creeping up on me there. That's me. Bleeding? Left arm's bleeding. He had a windbreaker. Well, it'll keep out the rain. There's probably an assault pack and stuff. Uh-uh. Zombie hunter leaps. Uh-oh. He's coming. He's even more injured, though. Interestingly. Alright, so I don't know, man. I haven't fought one of these. Uh-oh. Feral human, too. Where's he at? That direction. He hasn't seen me. Quite a ways off. But the uh, zombie hunter is on me now. Okay, let's get on the other side of this car so we can use it to our advantage. Here comes the zombie hunter. He leaps and he leaps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop the backpack. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that was your mother. Oh my god. <laughs> your mother. Oop. Looks like he's coming around instead of going through the car. Us. What do you have on him? Hammer and pliers. Rubber cement. Guess we need that. Backpack, work pants, and steel toed shoes. Put our backpack back on. Now, I don't think we can carry this, can we? The assault pack will not fit in any pocket. Mm. I think we can put it on over our other backpack, though. <laughs> Which would be kind of insane. But let's try that. Um, put on the assault pack. Yep. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. For 34 plus 14 encumbrance, we are wearing two assault packs. We'll take the webbing belt. Is there anything else this guy had on him that we want to grab and run for it because we're so encumbered? Yeah, we want the uh, ballistic plates and the uh, maybe the ballistic vest, but we can't fit it. Alright, we'll just get that stuff. Now we're insanely over encumbered. It's time to go home. <laughs> that was a goose, I guess. Um, my conclusion about this street is I think we can definitely drive up the street. I'm going to let Gary out. I'm going to get the car going or we're going to drive out of this damn city. Uh, I've got oh, tear gas hack. See, I am um, never, ever going to play another character that has coleptic psychosis, by the way. It was fun and interesting at first, but it's become really annoying. Uh, mainly because I the hallucinations are okay and actually they are kind of fun but what drives me crazy is it's every time I'm trying to read every time I'm trying to craft that I'm getting this psychosis going on it's, it's just too much um I need to grab my soap I guess and go wash this assault pack the other thing I'm gonna do I'm going to drop the books over here, and then we'll scan them into the e-ink PC, but I've got to figure out where I put it, which won't take too long. Drop all that stuff over there, because those are, that's my book pile. And then I'm going to drop this stuff here to be sorted, which is like the MRE packages. The ballistic plates will go into the armor pile. We're going to hold on to the webbing belt so I can go wash it. And let's see. Oh, the grenade. <sighs> oh, yeah, we'll keep that with us. Um, don't need the entrenching tool, the lighter, the cigarettes, the rubber cement. We may wear the hydration pack. Um, okay, like that. Then let me grab some soap. I think I've got a bunch of bar soap here. Yeah, so there's all my liquid soap. Uh, washings? Ah, soap bars. I don't know how washing soda works. It's like... Whatever. Grab the soap bars and the... Um, I put the washing kit over here. So I started me a pile over here. And this pile is our to escape the city with pile. So we've got the... Um, we're going to take the 556 NATO with us, acetylene torch, hammer, all the tools, soldering iron, all USB drives. There's my washing kit I'm going to grab real quick. Then I packed up a bunch of food, liquids, medicines, bandages, battery charger, brazing rod. Now this here, spare parts. So the brazing rods, duct tape, glow plugs, high pressure pump, and that kind of stuff. Drive belts, extra batteries, ropes, and strings, and all that stuff. Solder. Let's go down here and see if we can... We've been washing stuff in these people's pool over here. There we go. 
go. So I should be able to apply the washing kit. And let's wash this and the webbing belt. washed your items All right remains 37 liters 138 pounds so it'll definitely carry more pounds um and it may carry more liter more liters of stuff too so let's try Try it out. I don't know what it's going to take to repair it, but maybe we don't have to. It's nice that the backpack is not broken, but we can put it in our pot. Oh, webbing belt. I don't understand the webbing belt, so let me look at this. Small compatible pouches can be attached for extra storage. Okay. So I'm mostly just doing this because Dwarf Elvish recommended it. So let's take off the backpack. Now we're just wearing the assault pack. Let's put on the webbing belt. And let's unload the backpack. I'm going to drop the backpack just to see how much storage we wind up with. So now by wearing the assault pack, where are we at? Remains. 27 liters and 132 pounds. But I guess the benefit is that stuff attaches to it. I'm going to look at my encumbrance. Torso, 26 plus 6. Yeah. I feel like I'm more encumbered. Is that because I've got some conflict? Well, the spear strap conflicts with it. So let's say we take off the spear strap. Whoops. Wrong. That was my medical gloves. Take off the spear strap and look at it, and we're at 24. Hmm. I mean, it's only a couple extra points of encumbrance total, I guess. Put those back on. That back on. I can wear the hydration pack, which brings me up to 24 plus 8. Oh man, I've got definitely more encumbrance with the assault pack than I did with the backpack, but... I know the benefit is going to be attaching stuff to it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to trust Dwarf Elvish Diplomacy on this one. We'll wear it for a while. See how it goes. I need to go ahead and make sure that my stuff is favorited. Wearing. There we go. And uh, I guess we'll favorite the grenade, the PC, not the washing kit or the soap. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'll carry the backpack home. Just kind of curious what this flyer says. Old flyer for a movie from the 30s, a tan man with a slick black hair and muscles bulging through his off-white suit is clasping a woman to his hip with one hand, and the woman is wearing a black leather dress. With her hips splayed, she is holding a pistol in one hand and star staring, starring, <laughs> staring directly out of the advert. The caption reads, Witness the rebirth of New Noir with Jersey Shore Blues starring Jennifer Lang... Who is as Snooky. Um, okay. I have no idea why that's a thing. Where is this flyer in my inventory? Oh, there it is. Drop that crab. All right. Yeah, here you go. Oh, that's a police ballistic vest. Need that a day pack. Tack vest. Yeah, I was going to look for the mall stuff. 
I know there's some more laying around because we've killed a few zombie soldiers out here this way. Let's see if we can um, sort for mole. Or mole. There we go. There's another assault pack. Right there. Oops. Another webbing belt. I guess that's it. Oh, here we go. Another assault pack and another webbing belt. <laughs> yeah. That's all the mole stuff that we see there. And we can... Uh, I can... I can definitely fill my hydration pack up with water and that might be... A, this holster any good? Okay, we've got the Army Winter Jacket Helmet Liner. Filthy holster. Okay, this load-bearing vest. Does it go with the mole stuff? Yep. Covered in mole webbing. Holsters and other pals. Preferred by soldiers over directly attaching accessories to a ballistic vest. As they can... So, what do you think, Dwarf Elvish? Should we grab the load-bearing vest? Guard. Ballistic vest. Oh, speaking of that, I need to see if I can insert the uh, ceramic plating and stuff. So, I'm not wearing a ballistic vest currently. I need to grab this one. It's only ripped. Here, we'll grab that and the uh, load-bearing vest. wash this canteen. No, we don't need to because we've got the hydration pack now. Let's take these. We can go wash those real quick in the water. Trying to make our final preparations for escape. Apply the washing kit. Let's wash the uh, National Guard ballistic vest and the load bearing vest. So, can I wear the ballistic vest? Your torso is very encumbered. So, the chest guard conflicts with the spear strap, the assault pack. <laughs> everything. Yeah, I don't think we want the ballistic vest on. Torso encumbrance is now extreme. Take that off. Fill it 32 plus 10. What? How are we at 32 plus 10? Wearing Hydration pack, spear strap, webbing, assault pack. All webbing belt goes on the torso, but it's not showing itself to be yellow. Innermost. Outermost. We've also got the fanny pack, which goes on the torso. That may be something we need to take off. The fanny pack, the spear strap, maybe that. Let's take off the fanny pack. Let's take off the spear strap. We're at 31 plus 4. It's still terrible. So let's take off the... Uh, Thirty-three. That's still, still a lot. That assault pack, dude. Thing is very encumbering. Or I'm missing something. Possibly. Hard chest guard. Yeah, I'm not taking that off. That's my only body armor. Why is the assault pack? Is it because we've got a lot in it? Maybe. What if we put down, what if we put down the ballistic, well, but that, that shouldn't matter. 
It shouldn't be that encumbering. Let's say we drop the backpack, the compromised front plate, National Guard ballistic vest, ration pack. Let's see if it's just because our tort thing was full. Okay, fine. I mean, it was very full, which was very encumbering. So there you go. Um, so now the assault pack has four items in it, and our encumbrance is 25. But we're just going to have to say, like, we absolutely would have to uh, drop this thing. Let's say I wear my backpack and I take off the salt pack. Torso encumbrance goes down to four. I don't know, for right now, I'm not going to wear it. I'm probably not understanding something, so Dwarf Elvish or anybody else, if you want to tell me in the comments, like, why it would be better. That'd be great. Or so encumbrance 25 with the backpack and the spear spot. All right. Anyway, let's get past that whole project now. M1 Garand, eight, eight round clip. Big book of first aid. Does the Hound of Tindalos. Yeah, I'm going to examine that whole armor situation off camera. and uh, But we'll hold on to these uh, washed items. We've got the option of doing that. Alright, next thing. I was going to give up on the hippie van because I didn't have a mechanic book. Uh, and I was just going to go like this car down here. I think it just needs a... This one just needs a mechanical pump and some wheels. And um, this car over here in this garage, that car, remember that car? That's where we first started practicing our uh, mechanics by putting on and taking off tires. That car runs too. Um, but the hippie van is kind of our project. Now that we've got mechanical mastery books, we'll go read those. We'll take a, I'll pause, oop, wrong, wrong building. Barrel security guard. My foot. He wasn't there at all. Yeah, I'm going to go drop this stuff off. Play with my armor. And um, start reading the mechanical mastery book. So as you can see. We've got all this ready to go. And then uh, some of my commonly carried items are sitting over here ready to go. So we're packing up. We're preparing to escape. Uh, for right now, I'm going to take a pause and see how far I can get into Mechanical Mastery. And I will be right back. And I'm back. Alright, here's what I've come up with. This 12-gauge uh, pistol requires Mechanics 3, and I have 2, so I can attempt it. I have a possibility of failure. I don't have all these proficiencies. It's going to take 17 hours. Uh, uh, the only thing I need uh, 20 charges of the acetylene torch. I have 60. I need brazing rods, pipe, and scrap metal, which I think I have over the, over on the other side of the room. So I'm going to grab the acetylene torch. Now, if this doesn't work out, then what we're going to do is we'll just take the other car. Uh oh. I'm just realizing. I think I've dropped my bow somewhere. <laughs> uh oh. Yep. Don't see it. I think I dropped it over here, probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to go get our weapon, won't we? Let's just see. Is it in? Oh, there it is. Wait. Right there. Okay, right. I dropped it while I was reading. Uh, okay. The thing is, let's apply... I scanned everything into my e-ink PC. So if I want to try to read this book. Uh, a 
as far as a mechanic book goes, out of everything that we picked up. Okay, mechanics to one. We've already read that one. One of these we can't read. Ah, uh, there. Mechanics 3 to understand mechanical mastery, and mechanics 4 needed to understand internal combustion fundamentals. So, I think this will bring our mechanics to 4. So we just need to get our mechanics up to 3, read that, and we're there on mechanics. Let's try this craft. I did a search, like this. Lowercase p, semicolon, mechanics. Brought up this list. And the suppressor and the pipe cleaners are probably trivial. And then this is really too much. And then we've got some that are right at our level. But, oh, you know what I'm probably going to need? Glare protection. Let's go ahead and put on something with glare protection, which I think is the AR glasses. Have a look here. Have glare protection? I think so. Hmm. No? Uh oh. We may not have glare protection. Oh, there we go. Sunglasses. Keeping the glare out of your eye. Now let's see if we can craft that mechanics. Oh, gauge pistol. Nope. It does not have enough glare protection. Hmm. <laughs> well. I could have sworn that we had... Oh, we've got welding goggles somewhere. We'll uh, look like this, and we look for welding, welding and metallurgy. We don't have welding goggles. Sunglasses won't cut it. We don't have a welding mask. We need to craft one. Let's look at crafting, welding. There we go. Welding goggles I can make from safety glasses and eclipse glasses or tinted glass. Uh-oh. Tinted glass? Where do I get tinted glass? Oh dear. Well, if this is going to be a major hassle, hmm, then um, I may just have to take the other car. Hate to give up, but tinted glass? Doesn't that, 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 that comes from sunglasses, I think. Let's see if I can disassemble my sunglasses. Here we go. Whoops. Oh, there, I recovered one tinted glass. Um... And what was it to craft? How many tinted glass did I need? Three pairs of tinted glass have one. So I just need two more sunglasses. Alright, I'm going to go down and look at the zombie bodies and see how many sunglasses I can find. And I will be back. Actually, they were right down here at the bottom of the stairs. Take the sunglasses, sunglasses. They were right here. <laughs> right outside our door. Oh, no problem. Starting to get the hang of the idea here. So we're going to disassemble. Uh-oh. Don't click the wrong thing, because it does not ask you if you're sure. Maybe I should just search for glasses. Disassemble that. Huh? And time. There. Oh, you fail to recover. <laughs> of course I do. Alright, that's fine. Well, I found sunglasses almost immediately last time. So what I did, I just came down here. I'm going to do view. Ah, there we go. Uh, 
Are there more sunglasses? Oh, the reading glasses, eyeglasses. There's a uh, fit over sunglasses behind that car over there. There we go. All right, let's see if we can disassemble those. You fail to recover. <laughs> oh, joy. Okay. And here's some sunglasses. And here's some sunglasses. Take me there. All right. Sunglasses. Let's disassemble those. And I recovered tinted glass. Okay. What was it? What else was in this uh, stack here? Don't see much. Okay. Back home we go. Now we have enough tinted glass, unless our craft fails, of course. There's so much stuff everywhere. I'm, that's going to be the big challenge of the game, isn't it? Inventory management. It's a big deal. Uh, glass. Tinted glass. Tinted glass. There we go. All right, now we're gonna craft welding goggles. We have safety glasses. Three pairs of tinted glass have one. Hmm, what? Whoops, wait, 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 wait. Inventory, sort, glass. What do you mean I have one? Pair of tinted glass, two pairs of tinted glass. Oh, it's filthy, so it doesn't count. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, that's inconvenient. I I want to find um, my soap bars, because I don't know how to use liquid soap. Okay, those are all soap bottles. Do I have my soap on me? Okay, so the soap bars are invisible, so they must be over here. I think they went over here, right? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna new, um, quietly lose my mind. I know that I've got 167 bars of soap somewhere. And they've probably disappeared into, yeah, they have disappeared into a container or something. Alright, I'm going to find my soap and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back folks. I went and washed the tinted glass. So we now have the safety glasses, tinted glass. I guess we're going to use the medical tape instead of the duct tape, because the duct tape's on the other side of the room. So, let's make the welding goggles. Focus is rocking it out. Excuse me. Focus I'm rocking out my 15 focus here. Wow. Is that, like, probably the lowest focus you could possibly get? Holy smokes. Yeah, I know I could, like, put in an MP3 player or something and try to mitigate some of the focus drop. That's crazy. Though, that it dropped so low. I gotta, I, at least I've got, like, full happiness right now. You don't have the components to continue crafting one pair of tinted glass. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap the episode up right here. Um... Uh, in between episodes, I'm going to go get a whole bunch of sunglasses, disassemble and wash them all. So I'll be prepared to uh, do this craft and then uh, craft the other thing to get my mechanics to three so I can read the book so I can get my mechanics to four so we can go fix up the hippie van. Thank you for joining me for this episode. I'll see you next time.